Eli, that is not a word. It is so, Betty. Fixin' a. Like I'm fixin' to whip your ass in this game. Now give me 72 points. No, no, no. Saved by the bell. Hello, Camp Wanakiki, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. And the wind stinks like a sourpuss. Shh, it's Glamazon calling about our special order of arts and crafts supplies that we ordered weeks ago. Oh, don't tell me they got lost when all those mail sorting machines got repossessed, only to be found conveniently after the election. What do you mean you lost it? Oh, it seems the package got lost in that whole kerfuffle at the Suez Canal. Oh, you found it? Where? At a gay bar in Tel Aviv. Oh, you know, these postal delays are killing me. Although I will say it is much more interesting reading the horoscopes from last month about what should have happened to me instead of the boring stuff that actually does happen. I can't believe you lost it again. Well, call us back when you found it. Ugh. Betty, what was all that about? It's our package. They lost it, then they found it, then they lost it, then they found it again. I can't even keep track. Evidently, neither can they. But what are we gonna do, Betty? The Crafty Beaver Badge is today. How do we always end up in this predicament? I'm at a complete loss for words. I may have found a solution. You sit tight. I'm going to the lost and found cabin. Hm. I'm fixing to save the day. You fixing to get a can of whoop ass. <laughs> Jesus, oh, you're still here? Oh, uh, what to do with the campers? Uh, 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 I know. Uh, let's uh, let's try to earn your crafty beaver badge. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, here, uh, let's. Uh, use these paper plates and uh, uh, why don't you all design a brand new Crafty Beaver badge? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Uh, you can use any of the crap on the table and uh, write it on this plate and I'll give you 30 minutes. How's that? <laughs> and then the best Crafty Beaver plate will actually become the badge for tonight's badging ceremony. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good, isn't it? All right, good. So uh, here you go, here's your plates. Uh, use whatever you need here to get going. And uh, if you need me, I'm gonna be in here drinking. I mean, napping. I mean, I'll be in there. Thank you, Ricky. I can't believe it's already this much time has gone by and so right. many people have taken a hike. Top five, girl. Top five. Does anybody do like any kind of arts and crafts at home? Does rhinestoning count, girl, count as arts and crafts? I definitely enjoy painting. I don't do like paintings, but I like putting a fresh coat of paint on just like existing things and making it new again. Yeah, the most fun I had was with my cosplay costume. Mm -hmm. I'd never worked with Eva foam before, so I feel like performing really pushes me to try new material and look at you know, new forms of artwork. Mm -hmm. This is crazy because we haven't, you know, been here that long, but it feels like we've been here forever. Mm -hmm. And it feels like we like built bonds and like, you know, people are already leaving and stuff like that. And it's just like, those people, it seems like you've been with them for years. Yeah. And it's like, this time is going by so fast. And like, I've just been trying to take the time, you know, to just take a breath and really enjoy what you know I'm putting out and what I'm giving. So who has been some of your favorite campers from the previous two seasons of Pokemon Geeky that have really inspired you? Boris. Yes, Boris. Yeah. 
or a um, fish basket. Oh, uh, yes. And Diana Fire, I really love her. I love a bearded queen now. Okay. I really like the JJ snapping to oh, her. She's yes. so character funny. That, she, like the way she, you commit to something. I feel, I the like, entire time. That like trashy commitment. standout with that's that That's commitment. Mm. Honestly, when they did the hamburger challenge, yeah, okay. I wanted to do that so bad because I was like, I'm a cook and I love to cook and I do that like all the time like on my Facebook and stuff. And like cooking is my love language. Yeah. So I was like, I would I love, love you, girl. it is like I was like, I would love to share like a burger, a Queen Farah's burger, oh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that was something that I was really looking forward to possibly doing. I would love to see a horseback riding challenge oh my God. because that's a very camp activity yeah. and I'm, I, that would be so funny. Can you imagine being in drag on a horse? Literally no. Girl, <laughs> Literally. like. I can't imagine that. You know, just bobbing and weaving, wigs of flying, lashes going. I'm not a horseback rider, like that would terrify me, but I would do it anyway because I think it would be good TV. Okay, campers, time's up. This is so exciting. Betty, you have done a great job at designing badges so far, but I can't wait to see what the campers come up with. Oh, I totally agree. One less thing for me to do after all. <laughs> all right, campers, hand in your plates. Ooh, these are some crafty beavers here. Really crafty. Oh, gee. Some craftier than others. Um, so we got some, oh, I don't know about this one. This one looks a little bit too much like the wrong sugar baker. Oh, I, <laughs> this is sugar beaver. <laughs> I think I woke up underneath Bob Ross once. That doesn't surprise any of us. No. <laughs> it surprised him. <laughs> well, these are fantastic, uh, but I think we're going to need a little more time to pick the winner. So how about we announce the winning Crafty Beaver badge at tonight's talent show? Great idea! And speaking of talent show, you're going to need to create some new outfits for tonight's talent show. This is the Crafty Beaver Badge, after all. And of course, we aren't going to let you create these outfits all on your own. So once again, we've sent our hounds out into the woods looking for stray campers. Oh, stray campers, come on in! Squirrel friends! Oh! We're glad to see you've survived out there in the woods. Well, while our campers have been diligently working on their Crafty Beaver badge designs, these campers have been rummaging through the camp lost and found, picking out items that you will need to incorporate in your looks tonight. You mean they're not filled with nuts and berries from the woods? Because I'm hungry. So hungry. No, silly. They're filled with questionable fashion from campers from God knows when. <laughs> and it's your job to make them camptastically fantabulous. Sounds like fun. Well, let's draw names to see who our campers are matched with. All right, pick Queen, a pick a name. Reach in and pick a name. And who do you have? Vivi! <laughs> She needs. All right, America, let's see who you're paired with. Don't look, don't look. Don't look. Bingo. <laughs> Kylie. <Yeah>. Lucy. <laughs> Gilda. Yay. Sister. Yeah. And let me guess. <gasps> it's red. <laughs> <laughs> Now, okay campers, here is the fine print. Every item in the bag must be incorporated in the final look. But, and it's a big but, you cannot use the item for its intended purpose. For example, a hat cannot be used as a hat. You must incorporate it into a different way into your outfit. With this group of crafty beavers, I don't think that'll be a problem. <laughs> so why don't we give you some time to get started and we'll be back to check on you in a little bit. Beautiful. We'll get right. our beavers ready. All right. Ooh, let's grab these. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, 
Knock him dead. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait, 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 before you get started. I found more stuff. So, <laughs> in addition to what you have in your bag, if you find that you need a little something extra, you can maybe look in this box and find something. But remember, if you pull it out of the box, you must use it in your look. And I also found some fun jewelry. Make sure you share, because sharing is caring. And we'll see you later. Thank Bye. you so much. Hi, America. Hey. Hi, Lee. Hello. Welcome. So, how are we coming along here? Uh, so it's coming along. <laughs> the so we have the the main like bodice, like not the bodice, but the main dress done. We are adding some straps to it, and then dress. It's more of a brunchy dress. <laughs> Very Gloria Estefan oh. meets. Um, me. All right, I hope this is Saturday brunch because on the Good Lord's <laughs> Day, this is a little too risque for Sunday brunch. Like it is. Brunch. It is. We did make like a bow to put on the shoulder here. All right. Just to accessorize. And now this was this was the rim of the this hat. This was the yes. rim of the hat. And we're turning the hat into a bag. A purse. A purse, yeah. Well, what's it like uh, working with Kylie, seeing her after these last couple of days? Mm. I would say it's a blessing. Oh, hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> I'm re-teaching myself how to sew, <laughs> which is fun. Is it fun to be back in the- It is, it's fun to be back and see everyone, and I love this. We were on our team, we were on the red team at the beginning, so oh, we got yeah. to get to know each other right from the get-go, our first two days, and it's nice to be back with one of my sisters, my red team sister. I can't wait to see the finished product and see what to do with it. It's we'll something right now. Well, just remember, campers, you're making a top four outfit. Yes. No pressure. Oh, thanks Get for back that. to work. Mm. Thanks for that. Hi, hi, hello, hi. hi. And Vivian, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, we're good. We got the thick ones back together. Right. So tell me a little bit about what we're doing here. I'm curious, what was this? Was this just like a tablecloth or a sheet or something? Yeah, this was, I think it was like a bed sheet. <laughs> so like, we turned it with the like rouging of it and stuff like that because I was like, oh. So what other kind of uh, embellishments are we, are we working with? Uh, we are these yours here? What are yes. what are these? Yes. So, so we're uh, we're look, working on uh, this was a pair of tights. I think we're gonna work on trying to make a pair of gloves out of this for her. Yeah, definitely. So it kind of comes off off her style. She found this really really cool fabric that had like some fringe hanging off of it, and I was like, that's my like, little headpiece. I know yeah. a thing or two about headpieces too. Yeah. Oh, great uh, use of the items in unintended ways. Yeah. So what's it like to be back at camp? Uh, it's super fun to just even be in the room with uh, all 10 of us all together again. It feels like a family reunion. Um, the pressure is still very much so on. I, and even though half of us are not in the competition, um, as soon as that name came out of the can, I became uh, team queen for Oz until yeah, we get to the I end, love, baby. I so love you, baby. Uh, we'll work together all the way to the end. Yes, ma'am. No shade to other campers, but I was glad to have a thickum working on a thickum. <laughs> You know, because they might have been trying to make me something that I would have been busting or popping out of. She's been, she's been good at, you know, my proportions. And we're like, girl, let's not do that. That my pop, girl. Let's do this together. Well, I'm going to let you get back to work. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to slow you down anymore because the talent show is sneaking up on us very, oh, very fast. Yes, yes ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Geneva Convention Hello. at Corvette. How are you? Doing well, right? Good. Right. Nice to see you again. Uh, glad to be back. How are we doing here? Doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. Yeah. I'm seeing a, a, a little, a lot of top and no bottom. <laughs> I'm also seeing a glue gun. So is there any sewing going on, or are we? Yeah, there's been some sewing. There has been. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's been doing the sewing? I did a little bit of the sewing. So a lot of your looks at the talent show have been funny, over the top. Is this going to go along with that, or are you just trying to get it done? I'm a concept queen through and through. Uh -huh. So I had to have a story. I had to have a character. So we do have a concept going. We do. Okay. We do have a concept. And I don't want to give it all away. I, I'll, I'll hold off on that. <laughs> what was this originally? This is really cool. What you've done to this? This was a skirt. And this was all one garment? Uh, no. This, okay, this was looks a garment. Like you've... This was two garments. This was okay. a dress that I pulled out of the Lost and Found box uh -huh. um, because I felt like it fit the color palette. Sure. And it does the, perfectly. Well, when I was picking things up, 
we actually first got this. And I knew that one of these crazy campy queens would find this inspiring. Okay. So. Are you using this? Yes. You are. Stay Interesting. Tuned. I was excited to have Rhett because uh, they always have really wonderful ideas and they're very conceptual too, so I felt like it was a good blend. Awesome. Well, I'm excited. I'll let you get back to it. This could put you into the final four or take you out of the running. So uh, work hard, work hard, all right? I'll get there. Thank I'll you, see you at the talent show. Will do. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Hi, Billy Mian. Hi, Hello. Sunid. Hello. So what have we got going on here? We got like a little capelet, little... A little, little capelet. And we used a, a tiger skirt to make the, the accent collar. Yes. Um, these were a pair of socks that we turned into the tie. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a caftan. And we're working on pleating the waistline. So it's, you know, a luxurious caftan. So it's like luxury and comfort. Ambitious, you don't have a lot of time. Do you, are you worried about that at all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Shanid, what's it like to be back at camp? It's you like just a, left I was gonna and say, now you're back. It's just like I never left. <laughs> I had to call the plane company and tell them, honey, reschedule. They still need me. I gotta go help my sister believe me and win this challenge. Yeah, and working together with your sister here again, what, what's... It's great, because we worked well together in the first challenge and um, her skills for still think are a little better than mine, so it's definitely working in my favor. So are, how's it working? Are you coming up with the uh, inspiration and she's doing more the execution or? Yes, yes, because you know, I'm trying to, her skills are, like I said, are a little better than mine, so it's better that she does the sewing rather than me. I've been doing more like gluing. Well, it better be good if you want to make top four. I, I know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on it. Well, keep working, right. good job. It's looking pretty interesting so far. Thank you. Thank you. Arr, See you later. Arr. Lucille Couture, hey how are you? And Lucille, so official. Yes, this is, this is an official check-in. Okay, Lucille mm -hmm. it is. Official halfway check-in. Yes, yes. ma'am. And Gilda Wabbit. Hello. Wabbit. So what are, what were these? Just, just. It was a hat. Just, it was a strange gold hat that we have trimmed and bedazzled and created into. A new piece that you'll see. How has it been, uh, Gilda, being back at camp? It's been a fabulous time. I uh, went home episode three, you know what I mean? And I felt like I didn't have quite enough time to uh, get to know all the campers, especially Lucy, who I didn't share a cabin with and wasn't on the same team as, so this is really a privilege for me. It looks like you are one of the furthest along. Top four is at stake. Yes. yes ma so there's a lot at stake in this. I want to be wowed yes, on the stage tonight. I promise. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Eat, drink, and be merry, honey, at Hamburger Mary's, the premier spot for drag queen entertainment, including our world-famous nightly Dining with the Divas drag shows and our fabulous weekend mimosa brunch. Sink your teeth into one of our mouth-watering burgers or a variety of other menu items and wash it all down with a signature Hamburger Mary's cocktail. Visit HamburgerMary's.com to find the location near you. Be sure to make a reservation for your next night out. Until then, eat, drink, and be merry. Good evening and welcome to tonight's Camp Wanakiki Talent Show. Today, our campers will be earning their crafty beaver badge. Earlier today, our campers showed off their artsy skills by designing new Crafty Beaver badges. Ooh, and tonight on the talent show stage, they'll be presenting looks from the Lost and Found bin. Ooh, can't wait to see. Start the show. Some performers show up to the club in just a hoodie, basketball shorts, and a duffel bag but I like to show up leisurely and luxurious. A caftan and turban is one of my signature looks before a show. And with the animal prints that Shanice supplied me, this look sure looks wild. <gasps> Antonio, como? You're cheating on me with your sister. I can't believe it, how could you? Well, I have news for you. I've been cheating on you with my brother. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, 
Oh, he's Santa Maria. How could you? No. Met Gala Lucy Couture is always ready to slay with her high fashion elegance and undeniable stupidity. It's Sunday morning, and that ain't just enough. It's Easter Sunday. Oh, yes, honey. And it's time to praise the Lord. But this is a specific Sunday, okay? Can I get an amen? You got to go out here and stretch your stuff. I'm gonna praise him, praise him, praise him. And I'm gonna lift him high. Oh yes, won't he do it? He said he would on this good gospel Sunday morning of Easter, honey. I'm wearing my pastels and I'm feeling like I can't go to hell. Oh yes, honey. So you better pump, 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 pump it up for the church. Sunday Easter, gospel brunch at the Episcopal Kemp kind of Kiki Church. Take them with me. Take them to the key. At a summer camp in the kingdom of Camelot, you may find the Lady of the Lake, Geneva. She's a bit slippery when wet and has definitely had her fair share of swords. Not exactly Lily White if you get my drift. If you like to lance a lot, come on and take a dip with this watery thought. Jumping back into this competition with this challenge, oh, I am fuck exhausted. Me. Exhausted. You are exhausted, bro. I never stop. Bitch, you really did. You helped more than just your teammate, okay? Bitch, I, oh. I was more nervous for your to working today. The tensions were high in that room because we had the time crunching. You, no, no, you had no time. Um, and, and had no time to calm down. I also, I don't want to be uh, too shady, but I felt like I saw people not paying attention to the time constraints. Oh yeah, yeah like, absolutely. Not at all. I definitely saw it. I definitely saw it. Okay, bitch. I, yeah, I definitely yeah. saw it. And I that was, that. that was, um, I think, not fair. I think unfortunately, <laughs> especially to people who really turned it out in that like two hour time slot. Yeah. Yes. That like that's not, uh, and the looks are cute, but like that's not a cute look. I mean, their work costumes not. Um, people were still working on them after time was done. Maybe almost up until they had to walk on the yeah. runway. I understand the need and the desire to want to put something exceptional on that stage because we care a lot. You know what I mean? But like, I I would hope that the judges know that that's what happened. As a competitor, though, I mean, if nobody's saying nothing, I probably would just keep doing it too. Mm -hmm. Because it's well, they did, break. but no, 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 no. They did say something. They did say they, they did, they, not that they don't know. No, like, but they no, no, no. They did. They, they, they did say. Sean came in and said it's seven forty-five and your time's done. I'm not with. Well, hey, brothers and sisters. Hi. Hello, beauties. Look at everybody back, back, back here. here. Look, Look at the mega bus came early, huh? <laughs> the mega bus, the short bus, baby. The, the short, short bus. bus. It's good to be what? back in this room and be in this room with everyone. I never got that experience. Well, you got it. I only was with my cabin. So it was fun working with America today. And it, she was so calm, and I was just a little panicky mess. This is what I do back home. Like I literally, I take stuff that is something and I make it into like something else. Mm -hmm. And I could see it in your eyes as we were making the base. <laughs> and you were like, it looks like rags. And I'm like, I know, but everything looks bad before you That's it. Yeah, rag, she did say that. And she said everything looks bad. And then I was awesome. like, this is like one of my favorite outfits. I've never felt sexier here. Yeah. Um, yes. you know, I, like I love the look that we made. I, so I, I do too. You. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, I was gonna say thank you for picking me, but you, thank you for drawing me out. Of <laughs> <laughs> this look looks like a church lady going to Easter Sunday, honey. So I'm gonna give you. Look, I got a couple people in my family that go to church on Easter Sunday. Okay. I know how to give that. So I just pulled from the roller decks of what I know. But thank you so much, baby, because you brought what we have to life, girl. Mm -hmm. It was like she ain't never left. <laughs> <laughs> Like you could tell that I was nervous as hell. Yeah. But you were just like very well, cool and calm and like helped me when I'm ready to help and I really appreciate that. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you mm. too. And it turned out fabulous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I enjoy it because like this is kind of what I would wear pre-show when I show up to a venue. Like, exactly. You know, some people roll up with a duffel bag and I like to wear like a caftan. <gasps> yeah. I want to look comfortable but you know beautiful. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was an interesting show, and it's going to be really tough to yes. make some decisions. Uh -huh. One wild show. Speaking of wild, uh, Bulimian was our first wild. Wild. Bulimian. <laughs> <laughs> Spit it out!
I thought she looked a little bit like Colonel Cleaner <laughs> from MASH. <laughs> but when she walked out, she looked like a drunk guy at a party who just goes into your mom's closet and tries to put on as many clothes as possible. <laughs> like Colonel Cleaner. Like Colonel Cleaner. <laughs> it, was like a cross, it was like a cross between Clinger and Little Edie from Great Garden. <laughs> Oh what is the most sensible thing to wear? Oh my god, it was totally little Edie. Uh, she had a lot of interesting uh, patterns to work with. Uh, Shanid picked out a lot of uh, different <laughs> animal prints and yeah. lots of different textures. It was, and, uh, it was tough. We gave them like barely no time. Oh, they this. just had a couple hours to throw yeah, this so together. Yeah, so we have to keep that in mind. As we're judging this, they only, they truly had a few hours to do this. Yes, and we are not judging a Paris runway, but however, that was a look. That was a look. Bohemian Rhapsody was giving me bohemian chic. Well, let's talk about America. <laughs> Okay, I liked America's look. What I liked about America's look was that it was a story. I thought the look was like, oh, I don't know, but then she just came out of her shell and it was funny uh, and her timing was good. Yeah, it was great to finally see her like really yes. come out of her shell. Yes, and actually I think that uh, she was happy too. Yeah, yeah. I think she enjoyed her own uh, performance tonight. The other thing about America's whole presentation, it was campy. Yes. Over the top campy. Yes. And that's one of the things I loved about it too. When Queen first came out, uh, she was so colorful and happy and just loving her look. I, I really enjoyed her energy on stage. I was uh, impressed by the way that, that they incorporated all of the pieces into the look in a different way. Yeah, with Queen, I w wrote down, praise the Lord. She was like at church and she was selling it and she had her Sunday hat on because you know, you don't go to church Easter right. Sunday without a good hat on. She definitely knows how to sell it. Yes. She had stoned it as well because it was a sheet. The, the, the bulk yes, of uh -huh. the dress was just a sheet. Mm -hmm. Geneva, I have really, really, I'm very conflicted with Geneva because at first look was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I loved it. But when you really think about some of the elements, to me personally, the entire bottom part of her dress was literally the bottom part of the dress that was pulled out of the lost and found. So it was not repurposed in any way. Geneva's look overall was my favorite look. Visually, it was the best look. Now, I agree with you about the, the dress, so we'll have to discuss what we you know, want to do about that. I don't know. I feel the same way. I actually had Geneva as in my top uh, top two or so as well. And um, it was like everything that Geneva does. You know, it was, it was big, there was a story with it. It was impressive. Now, I think one can make the argument that she took a gown and turned it into a skirt, which is what she did. Yeah. Um, so is that following the rules? Um, I don't know. So I think it's time to bring up the campers and ask a few questions. Yeah, Absolutely. I agree. Let's bring them back. Do it. The winner of Camp Wanakiki will win an all expense paid trip to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, where you'll be featured as a headliner at the newest Hamburger Mary's. Hamburger Mary's Puerto Vallarta is located in the heart of the romantic zone in this tropical paradise. Get ready for margaritas sipping on the beach and partying all night. You'll also enjoy free burgers for a year. Compliments of Hamburger Mary herself. Oh, and pack an extra suitcase for that great big wad of pesos you just won. Total prize package worth $10,000. Adios mio, Mary. I'm sorry, I, just want, I know I already told you this, but I'm sorry that I was so stressed out about this today because you really pulled it. Mm. Like, yeah, I feel a lot better because of you. No, and, that, and that's the thing, like we're saying like, oh, time limits, time, like, like, okay, like it, it puts a lot of pressure on you, but at the end of the day, like we all want each other to go, at least feel good going out. I mean, yeah. even, if, even if you're not for the time restraint, you don't want to go up there and feel embarrassed or not feel confident because yeah. that will show in how you walk and you walk confident up there. You know, whatever the outcome, I feel a lot better about this look than I did about it an hour ago. Well, I'll tell you all, um, I don't have a particularly campy can-do attitude about this, 
Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't. I she don't. prefaces. I don't, I don't. And, and I'm, I'm a little ashamed about that, but I, I was really pressed about um, what I perceived as you and Queen continuing to work after the, the look was supposed to be finished. Yeah. Um, and Rhett makes a great point about like, hey, they wanted to look good, they wanted to feel comfortable. Um, and I, I felt <sighs> that integrity is extremely important to this competition yeah. and um, that I think that there's a place to say, okay, like we don't, we can, and we're not supposed to stop now. And like, I'm gonna go out and own what I've done. And I feel like that is not what happened backstage. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I'll back I you that. and say that, yeah, it's not fair that these two ladies kept working on the costumes after the time constraint. Um, but I'm a skinny girl. It don't take long for me to wrap stuff around and call it something. Mm -hmm. But your fashion might have a few challenges. Um, yeah. So I think that you, maybe that right. that's part of the process. Is it? I don't know. That's no, I think you, what you do said a mouthful there. Like yeah. honestly, when I got this, because I make my stuff, a lot of my stuff, and it takes me days to get where I want. Right. Because being a big girl, you can't just stitch it one time and go say this is cute, do it later. It's like, but you gotta stitch it two or three times to make sure, like, I'm mean, Vivi, how many times I made you run this thing through? I know that you felt some type of way or whatever, but those are the things that are going on in our heads, and it was no shade to nobody else. If I offended anybody, I would never want to do that or make well, you feel like well, <laughs> your heart you was I see this in two different manners. Like, I absolutely understand your perspective on that and completely respect it and relate to what you're saying. If I were in your position, I would feel exactly the same way. When I was trying to get everything together, I was not thinking of it as like, I'm gonna continue detailing my costume and adding like embellishments or things like that. What I was thinking is, I need to be able to get this where it won't fall off my body. Right, yeah. And I understand where the distinction is. Yeah. Um, and I absolutely like relate to what you're saying and feel like you are correct. I also wanna to say to both of you, because I think of both of you as friends, that like my feelings on this are about this specific moment and oh, not about you all outside of this and not I absolutely about know what you're saying. This, yeah. affects, this like. affects our friendship in no way whatsoever. Yeah. I respect the fact that you want to say this and say your piece about it because this is purely about this scenario. It is, right. Absolutely. I would love to say though, after all of this lovely conversation, <clears throat> that I'm f***ing proud of this top five, okay? Yeah. You all are so sickening. Look at all these looks, you all. I'm a uh, bitch. Thank you. I'm talented. I've wanted to be in top five, girl, but... <laughs> 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 when we leave this place, I'm gonna be really sad at the same time. Yes. We're gonna miss you all. Like, yeah. Exactly. I'm gonna be happy to go home, but I'm also gonna miss like the connections that's, that we've made with each other here in this moment with the time we've been together. Yes. Like a whole f***ing lot. Our top five campers. Wow. <laughs> what we want to do now is just take a minute and uh, chat with each of you. And why don't we start with... Bohemian Rhapsody. You look very bohemian in this outfit. Is that what you're going for? Yeah, actually, you know, I do a lot of bohemian style looks, you know, in my normal drag. Um, so the name is appropriate for my style a lot of the times. Sometimes camp is tacky. I am most definitely tacky sometimes. Excuse me. <laughs> You're kind of giving us Colonel Klinger vibes. Uh -huh. And it's having Ruthie in stitches. <laughs> I think this is the biggest compliment all season, to be honest. <laughs> Let's look at America. Um, I thought that your overall presentation was really fun. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I was kind of getting a telenovela kind of vibe sort of thing. Am I right? Right. I mean, yeah, my, a lot of my inspiration for what I do a lot, with a lot of my looks and in general is, is our tel telenovelas. I used, that's what I grew up on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the big hair, the dr drama. And uh, when I got this challenge, I was like, this is what I do. You know, I, I love taking things that, that are one thing and making it into something else, something glamorous, something that looks amazing. Um, and I feel like that's what I, that's what I did with this. You took this unique situation but then you created this hilarious telenovela parody about catching your husband having sex with his own sister. <laughs> um, it was just hilarious. So it's almost like you made a costume for this kooky parody you created. It was, it was very entertaining. When I pulled Kylie's button, I was just ecstatic. Like, I, I mean, I was, we share a bunk together and her elimination, although the first, it was one of the first runaways, was probably the hardest. I think, um, 
I don't know why, it was just super hard when she got sent home. And to pull her button was like, it, I was just super grateful. I am just so impressed with what she did with me and for me. And I'm just so thankful that I got to work with her and that she now could say that she has made this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Geneva, you made the most use of items out of the extra box that I brought. And you have like five or six things that you didn't need to do and you worked it in beautifully in different parts. One of the instructions was not to use the item for what its original intention was. And your, the entire bottom of your outfit is the bottom of that dress. So I, I just want to give you the opportunity to explain like how you feel it's different than, than uh, what it was. That's very fair. Um, what I had intended with it was because I was thinking, okay, this is an entire dress. I'm going to try to make a train with it. It was meant to just be like, Oh, just the, kind of. Yeah, like, some little bits that were to simulate like seaweed and then the lily pad here. But you did take the dress bodice off. Completely and then off. Put, you, then you put cardboard in it and pleated it and then attached it as, yes. a, as the back. Okay. Completely off and I split the skirt. Like it's um, it's not just one piece. I totally opened it up um, and I put it on a makeshift belt made out of part of the other fabric. My intent was to bustle it back and move the lily pad down. I didn't quite get around to that. I do want to say that Rhett was very supportive um, and did their best to help and you know just be there for me even though it was very stressful. So I appreciated that a lot. It was a lot of fun to be able to work with him again. Queen! Queen for Oz! Hey y'all! Hi! So you took us to church today. Oh yes. Yeah. I, I thought your, your look was very fun. It was very colorful. I love the energy and the whole story about going to church and you sold it, amen. This was a sheet, right? Yes. I mean, stoning it really made a, a difference. My aunt used to take me to church. Um, she passed away and this is her. I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not joking with y'all. Like anybody in my family is gonna say, oh, I know exactly what you're acting like. Like she went to church and literally one time I had a dance battle with this lady in the middle of church. I don't know if she was with me today, but I feel like I channeled some of her on the stage. Well, I think she was with you. What was it like working with your, uh, your partner? Vivi, oh my God. Vivi, oh. let me just say, she has a way of calming you down when you're like, this is not gonna work, this is not gonna work. She's like, girl, shut up. Come here, let's do this. The campers picked out the, the outfits without knowing who they were going to get. Mm -hmm. And yet it looks like it, for most of you, it worked out, uh, well, I mean, I'd say for all of you, yeah, it worked out to your aesthetic, at least. Along the way, we talked a little bit about time and uh, time management. And it has come to our attention that a couple of campers may have gone over time after we, uh, the production crew said stop. And I just want to address that uh, and give anyone an opportunity to say something about it. Yeah, I'm happy to discuss that. Um, when, when they came in to say stop, um, like my brain was kind of thinking, all right, I was in the middle of trying to get this skirt to attach to my body. So I guess my mental process was that this is not like going to be able to even, like I'm going to be half naked straight up. I just need to be able to get this to stay on me. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of stepped away from like, let's try to make this look pretty and prettier and try to like, let's get this to stay on my body so that I don't like, that I'm not naked on the runway. I wasn't really thinking about like, let's continue working and trying to craft and craft and craft. Also, I wanna talk about it cause I went over some. Um, I had a lot of my stuff that I needed for the runway already. So like when they said stop there, were, I was, I'm not gonna say I was confused because we had a time restraint, obviously. But it was like, when they said stop, it was kind of like some people were already done and some people were running to get stuff. And I was like, I feel like it's not where it needs to be. And like, I didn't need that extra time to go get anything. So whenever, you know, it like nobody ever came back and was like, stop, you need to stop, you need to be done. So I was like, I wanna make sure I can put my all out on the stage. I wasn't sure if they were still working or who was still working because I was, honestly, I wasn't paying attention to nobody else. Right. I was like, I wanna make sure I look the best I can. And I felt like everybody was still working I, in, a, in a different way, like I said. Bulimia in America, do y'all wanna add anything? I would hate to like take a hike knowing that I 
follow the rules and, you know, was on good merit. Likewise. And was, you know, hiking it because someone else didn't follow the rules. Right. When he said stop, like, I mean, I had a list of things that I had to do from priority and I knew I was like, okay, these are the things that I need to do. There was still 10 things that I wanted to do. Same. If I'm hearing right, you three stopped and you two worked a little bit more. We're just trying to get information right now. So I'm just getting an idea of like how much longer you're working. Cause obviously we weren't, the cameras weren't rolling. Well, how much time were we talking about? Five minutes or 20 minutes or? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that much long after. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody, but I just literally was, you know, I stoned the front of my thing and then he said stop. And then I wanted to spot stone the back a little bit. As soon as I got done with that, I was done. And, and that, that was still, alone. That was still quite after time was called though, because when I came back, there was still like seven things. Oh. No, not by me, there weren't. You asked my partner for help. Yeah, it was like, I was coming back with my things and Shanita was still helping you work on your, on. She asked me, did I need help way before that I heard time. you say, Shanita, Shanita from the other room. And I was like, hey, no, that was to get my, finish get dressed. No, that was to get my stuff. But I, she had to get to grab something for me. She's working on my shoes. No, I, I she, if you actually need, she need, will tell you, she put a strip of fabric on my stuff and I did all the rest. I know people are upset and we are in the top five and we are in a pressure cooker. I was obviously doing things after time and I'm the type of person, if, something, if somebody calls me out, I take responsibility for what I did. And I will say I did, you know, like I said, finish spots going on the back of my thing. She need put my uh, script on my shoe. It was not finished. It was just literally either rip it off or put some more fabric on it. Like my whole process was just trying to get the skirt to get able to attach properly. Um, so I was thinking about trying to get that to, to stay on me. So it was maybe like, I think it was probably about 10 minutes that I was working on it before I went down to finish getting dressed. Mm. But regardless, you know, that's that's still just like beyond the time. Anything that's beyond the time is beyond the time and we should take responsibility for that. Um, it's certainly not trying to take anything away from other campers. That's not anything that I was trying to do. I appreciate everyone's honesty. We, we appreciate everyone's honesty. Um, you know, we just want to make a fair decision. So Camp on Kiki first. Anyone who's watched the show, anyone who's seen us, like we're not about creating drama. We're not trying to create that. I mean, we're just- but, We're you just know, trying we to figure out what happened. But we do create rules and we try to to give a fair, each camper the same fair opportunity that the other campers have. So now we have to take all this into account. Um, I would like to go ahead and just apologize to all three of you for making me feel like I was doing something that was beyond what you were allowed to do. That's not my intention. And I want to directly apologize to all of you for anything that I might have made you feel that was negative. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Same, I didn't, I didn't, I wouldn't want to make anybody feel like I was, you know, had some type of advantage or didn't care about the rules. That's not how I get down, you know, so I'm sorry. Given this information, I think we're going to need just a few more minutes to talk about it. Well, why don't you uh, head back to the rec room and relax a little bit, okay? Thank you. All right, we'll call you out back on. Thank you all. My last thoughts is there was just a misunderstanding. And to me, that's all it is. Um, and there's nothing beyond that. So, how am I feeling right now? Uh, I have to pee really bad. But I, I hope it just the narrative is, is turns out positive for everyone. I honestly feel miserable and defeated, and you know this is the most like down I felt in the competition. But I'm trying to keep my you know campy you know can do spirit. But it's just like. I felt so good today and I and I and it felt good to finally get, you know, good critiques. But I know things happen, you know, and if it's meant for me if it's meant for me to go against all the odds <laughs> then I've really enjoyed my time at Camp Wanakiki and I I would love I love everybody regardless of the matter. This is certainly not how I'd intended anything to turn out today. I support whatever decision is made, and I want it to be known that I truly feel terrible even though I know it was a misunderstanding. And I celebrate everything that they do with their drag, and I wish them nothing but the best, and I am thrilled to have been here. And this is the book of the greatest time that I've ever had in drag. And whatever will be, will be.
The stakes are high, emotions are higher, but this competition must go on. So we have to lift our spirits above even higher than that. Campers, this was the most intense situation that we have been in at Camp Wanakiki in the three seasons. And I just want to remind you all that we love you all and you are all amazing. And no matter what happens tonight, you are camp queens and you are Camp Wanakiki family forever. But as you know, there are five of you, but only four Crafty Beaver badges. So one of you will have, have to take a hike tonight. Before we get into that, however, we do want to announce the winner of today's daily camp activity, uh, which was designing your own Crafty Beaver badge. And the winner of that was Geneva. Yeah. <laughs> We're also now going to announce the winner of today's talent show. And that goes to America. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have earned your Crafty Beaver badge, but we'd like for you to just wait for a minute on stage. So we're gonna do things a little different today and we feel like given the circumstances, uh, we, we really didn't have much of a choice with the bottom two this week. So I'm, I'm sorry to say Queen and Geneva, you were in the bottom. So if you, I mean, if you could just step down here, please. <laughs> Campers, due to the uh, events of today, um, we're going to change the rules. We feel like the decision should not be ours to make. It should be the remaining campers. So we're asking you, each individually, to write the name of the camper who will receive your final badge. Campers, you're not to discuss with one another who you are suggesting receives the badge. We'd simply like you to write that individual's name on your chalkboard. This is who will receive Seems. the final Crafty Beaver badge. I try my best to uplift people, and on the day where I felt the most beautiful and I felt the most celebrated, I feel like, and, and I feel like I'm gonna be gone when I wasn't even supposed to be here. All the odds were against me, and somehow I don't know how I still made it. I don't, I don't put competition over my sisters, cause I feel like this is the best I felt in drag, being here, being wild, being crazy, being able to let loose. I don't get to do that. Please, whoever takes a hike tonight has to know that that they are loved. And we're still gonna love the camper that, that takes a hike tonight. We're gonna love the campers that took a hike yesterday and the day before. All right, campers, it's time to show us who you think should earn the fourth Crafty Beaver badge. All right, turn around. Congratulations, Geneva. You have earned your Crafty Beaver badge. Queen, we are so, so sorry. This is a competition, but you know that you are a winner. You are a winner with everybody at Camp Wanakiki, not only from season three, but seasons one or two, and you are part of our family. We love you very much, Queen. But it breaks us to have to say that you need to take a hike. Yeah. Campers, if you'd like to excuse yourself, you certainly yeah. may. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! 
Hey y'all, it's your girl Queen Farage, and unfortunately, if you hearing this bitch, I've been eliminated. Girl, that made me take a hike, but it's okay, honey, cause you win some, you lose some, but you live to slay another day. I have really enjoyed my time here at Camp Wanakiki, okay? So, I didn't expect it to have these twists and turns. Y'all will see. I'll let y'all judge for yourself, but nonetheless, honey, I got my campy can-do attitude and I'm pumping with my head held high, baby, because I slayed. I had some great ups and downs in this competition. I really enjoyed knocking some bitches off of that buoy, honey, over by the motherfucking lake. As far as the sugar bakers and Ruthie, um, I really love y'all. Thank y'all so much for just keeping us uplifted and giving us the ooh-ah-ah -ah every morning. My grandma always told me that what's meant for you, baby, is meant for you. Can't nobody take it away. So it wasn't meant for me yet to grab the crown, but we may have some surprises for y'all a little bit soon. So y'all just keep on hanging in there. It's your girl, Queen Farage, and I'm signing out. Oh, but what are we gonna do, Betty? The Arts and Crafts badge. Crafty Beaver badges today. What are we gonna do, Betty? The. What are we gonna do, Betty? I haven't been behind a sewing machine in five years, but I'm picking things up quickly. <laughs> it's like riding a bike, girl. Yeah, or riding a. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Censored. Riding up. No. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, tell me when you found it. Ugh. What was that all about? What's it's all about, about a second to take? The whole thing again. <laughs> Hooray! Also, baby, I got ooh. my uh, mic drop. <laughs> it looked like balls. <laughs> oh, the pack! Oh, the yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me it got lost when all those U.S. Postal Ser Service sorting machines. Are you still thinking of Colonel Bellinger? <laughs> <laughs>